we sketched that up. We, we did collect some field information to make sure all this would work. Uh, we were initially working conceptually from existing information. And we could present that to the township engineer and say this is what we propose to do. Once, it, once the design is finalized, the easement would have to come back to the township to execute anyway, correct? Yeah. All you're doing is giving a kind of a nod to them on where it would be, then they put a formal easement together, bring back the final layout. That's right. That's right. And, and ultimately, the entire um, extension would be done to the standards of the authority, and the authority would be ultimately the assignment will take this over once it was in and approved. You got 10 changes to make before you get to that point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so this is the first step. Front. We need to get across this property before we can go on to everything else. So, um, I, I don't have any reason, Tom, to think I've been out there myself to look at it two times. And I think, at least, at least uh, the last time we walked in behind everything, that existing shed that runs parallel to the, to the long edge of Miller's Run that runs parallel to Montour Trail, that's the limited point right there. The rest of that is open enough that your idea of coming around, I think that would work. Get a couple more manholes to, to make it happen, but it's still. Yeah, after being on the ground, I would agree. I, I, I believe we could come behind here and then over. My, my question is yeah, we looked at where the dog kennels are. Yeah, we were just going to come around an area of 45. Uh, and and the line said they don't use the dog kennels anymore, right? You're correct. We're not. And we're coming at 45 down. Uh, you're saying coming at 45 from here? From right up, up here at this mantle down to wherever it hit. This missing this building. Well, wait, no, that, that, that's, my, that's my point. Once that building's gone, that opens up. That, that's one of the biggest areas we have left of, the, of that site. We, just assume that building's gone. Then if you left it where you're saying, it, it bisects one third of the property. Yes, I, I understand what Mr. Mr. Cassiola is saying. That if you come, the top of the bank is probably slightly behind where this dash streamline is. So the 50 foot buffer would be probably behind this building. Yeah, two, that's all a moot point if we get the ABB property or some of those buildings go up, up elsewhere. But the, the second part of my question to you was, uh, how, how do we handle operations? How does Bill get his job done if that's running right, right through the middle there? Or is there a plan that's been worked about or talked about? No, this plan is they go and back go and say, we'll lay the pipe. We'll work with them. Like, yeah, yeah, we, we can, I mean, what, once it's properly designed, construction starts. As soon as they get it in, we can, once it's inspected and backfilled, I, I don't imagine much of a disruption. Um, it wouldn't be days or anything, it would be relatively quickly. Time is money for a contractor to get the pipe in the ground. So, what, what's your time frame to get all of this planned and done? This construction, it would be optimistic to say construction would start this time next year. <laughs> so, okay. So, it's, it'll be at least a year before any construction. So, what, do we have a consensus of the board to proceed and look at additional drawings? Well, can't we approve it based on? Um, Tom's proposed right away of coming down at a 90 degree, staying as close within that 50 feet as possible. I think it would be going with option two, with the exception that it has to change the room behind the existing storage shed and then turn back on that later. So I'll make a motion that. Please we... speak up. Oh, okay. I, I, think, yeah, I think the proposal I was just laying out. Supervisor Fisher, and I think the correct uh, way maybe to state this for the record is approve it. Uh, their option two on the HMT plan dated 3 1 2010, with the exception that we're going to change from the existing manhole and come behind the storage shed and then tie back into proposed uh, sanitary manhole B. That's your motion? That's my motion. Thank you. We have a second on that motion. Second. Second. Very well, any further discussion? So all the uh, specifics have worked out. 
I'm sorry, on, on that particular change, are you going around, under that storage shed, or are you going under, we're, around? We're, we're around, going around. Around, we're, okay. We're so coming so from the up underneath, and then... Correct. We're coming yes, from the existing manhole. Meeting up with manhole bay. Correct. We're coming south behind the shed, yes. turning behind the shed, tying up the manhole. Got it. Thank you. Correction, we should just also include the authorization for the township manager to execute the appropriate easement when it's prepared. Once it's reviewed, prepared and reviewed. Sure, prepared be subject to solicitor review and yes. then he could execute it after that. And engineer's review. Engineer's review. Ready for your motion? Yep, that's it too. All right. First, Frank, second. Uh, any more discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Abstain. Okay. And the name would be zero. So Carol let the record show four zero and one abstention. 